Whether you're working on a small or big landscaping or gardening project, you'll need solenoid valves. Let's take a closer look at how to choose them and use them. First up is Toro's 2400 MTR, a very popular solenoid valve that offers solid performance with easy maintenance. The jar top design makes it easy to open the bonnet and remove sand or silt, making it especially handy in Western Australia. The on-off lever raises the solenoid to activate the valve. The 204 MTR is another favourite, with a 25mm BSP inlet and outlet, flow direction indicator on the bottom of the valve, and a bleed screw to relieve water on top of the diaphragm. The 205 MTFR is another excellent option, with a classic valve design that offers performance and value. The screwed bonnet gives higher pressure rating and better freezing resistance. Like the 204 valve, the 205 features a 25mm BSP inlet and outlet, flow direction indicator on the bottom of the valve, and a bleed screw for relieving water on top of the diaphragm. What's more, it also offers flow control via the dial on the top of the valve. This is useful when the spray heads are misting and not giving you even coverage. It's worth choosing a solenoid valve with flow control because you can then fine tune your system after installation. If you want to connect to DC battery controllers, choose this DC latching version of the 2400 valve. When it comes to power, you have two choices, AC and DC. AC solenoid coils need a constant electrical signal to open, so you'll need to run cable from your controller to the valves. The controller will send a signal to the valve over the cable and pull up the solenoid plunger. The power source will hold that plunger up until the signal from the controller is dropped. DC valves are becoming more popular because they make installing new systems much easier. You don't need to run a cable from the controller. Instead, a waterproof battery controller sits in the valve box and sends a signal to the coil which switches it on. A new signal is then sent to switch it off. You also don't need power to hold the plunger up. On average, you should get around 12 to 18 months out of your DC controller before you need to swap out the battery. But it will depend on how many programs you run and how often you run them. You can buy DC coils separately and retrofit them to any solenoid valve.